In this video, you will learn how to create a skimmer, shimmer. how to create a shimmer like this. If you need something like this, which is a little bit more complex, you can click the link in the description of this video. Personally, I think it's way too complex. They have over 300 lines of code. For this simple example, we have a total of 77 lines of code. And I will show you how to do this step by step. So let's start from scratch. First thing first, we need to create a shimmer view widget. This one will be a stateless widget and will return inside a column. The column will have a cross axis alignment dot start in order to align everything on the left. After this, inside the children, we will use another widget called the shimmer box. This will also require a stateless widget, but we will need to create a constructor. We will create an int flex and a double width. The flex will be used for the height of the current shimmer box widget. We will return an expanded widget. The expanded will have the flex inside. The child will be a fractionally sized box. Inside, we can put the width factor that is coming from the constructor. After this, inside the child of the fractionally sized box, you will create your container. The container will have a padding and then a decoration. The decoration will have a color of black opacity and a border radius of 15. The next thing is to add the shimmer box inside the shimmer view. So I will add multiple of them. Inside the children, we have three shimmer box widget and three sized box widget. This will create one item. So if we replicate this multiple time, this is what you will end up with. You can modify the code as much as you want. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye.